Hi, I'm Ray Trinen from Car UX, uh, and today I will present you our demonstrators which we have uh, at the SID. So, so this is a very advanced automotive displays. What do we see here? Yes, so uh, what you see is uh, an, what we call a projective uh, display. Um, what, uh, we, what we do is we will uh, project the images in the um, front screen. It's like a very wide hut for the whole width of the yes. car. Yeah, and uh, the goal in the future is that uh, even the black layer in the front uh, screen will be removed. So, and for that one, we will increase the brightness for the future that you have a kind of transparent look uh, to that. What is the black layer you're talking about? What? This uh, is a special, the, by the windscreen maker, uh, produced material. And, uh, ah, it's possible uh, to make a material it's, it's, that's, yeah. that reflects it perfectly, but it's more transparent. Yes, yeah, correctly. All right. So next we have uh, something which uh, is very important uh, nowadays, uh, because it will be checked whether the driver has been distracted. And uh, so uh, each OEM needs to have that in his car nowadays. If you fall Where's the camera? A kind of falling asleep. Indeed, that's the question, where is the camera? So it is hidden in the active area and, and you can see uh, that it recognizes your face and from the coordinates it can check whether your eyes are open or closed. So you can basically, very difficult to find the camera. So when and I look away, I, I, can't, I can't tell you, the camera is in the middle here. Oh. But it's yeah. behind. It display. is behind the display. And, and what is a display technology? So it's a normal LCD technology. And uh, we make a kind of hole in the active area so that the camera image can be uh, presented. All right. OK, if we then move. Hi, you, I, I, yeah. I, I have interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I come to you okay. later. Okay. Okay. Sorry for yeah. that. Okay. Um, <laughs> So here you see a 34 inch panel, which is already a mass production for a couple of years. And this is an LCD technology. And on the back plane, we have an, um, a backlight unit with many LEDs to get a kind of OLED uh, look. Uh, so the performance is, uh, is like an OLED display. So this is like a mini LED back yes, backlight? Yes, it's a mini LED backlight. Uh, what makes special on this one is that we make the substrate from amorph silicon and not uh, from LTPS. And you see blue LEDs and with a kind of uh, uh, convergent film, we make white uh, uh, light out of it. And due to that, uh, we uh, get this kind of performance. So high brightness, great yes. black levels. Yeah. And the blue LEDs are more efficient than the white LEDs. So that means that you can reduce the power. How do you convert the blue LEDs to perfect colors? That's uh, with uh, special quantum, uh, quantum dot film, uh, indeed, which you see uh, a little bit from your friends away over there. From, yes, uh, at the booth. Yeah. All right. Uh, of course, uh, if a display is, um, if you don't have content to show, then basically you want to have an invisible display. Nice. Um, and as soon if you have content, you want to, uh, uh, to be able to read that. So it is a trade-off uh, uh, how to get the transmission and the reflective. Looks like a carbon so, fiber yes. interior for your luxurious yes. car. And, this, this and then is, boom, there's a screen inside. Yeah. This fiber is indeed on the back side of the cover glass. And uh, this is the second generation uh, where the, uh, the balance between brightness and reflectivity has been improved. Uh, so the, it is about 80% uh, uh, brightness. So there's a lot of options for the texture yes. of the design. Ba basically, uh, the customer can select uh, what kind of textures we're using. Okay. Let's have a look what's happening okay. here. So as I just mentioned, uh, basically, if there's no information, you don't want to um, um, uh, see anything. And uh, this display it has a, a kind of leather feeling. So if you feel, it is kind of leather. Nice. And but the, it's, what is the material? Uh, it's a, a polymer. 
like a plastic. It's a kind of plastic with holes in. Nice. And, and somehow and, it's and really have, nice display. Yes. So like uh, for the door opening, uh, information on the doors and these kind of things, if the resolution uh, is not required to be too sharp, then this is a very nice solution. And, and it's yeah, bright. Yes, and the feeling is very convenient. Nice. And there's so many options with materials. Yes, yeah. You somehow just put it behind something? Or be, like yeah, somehow? Yeah, you can. You can ah, uh, this has holes, tiny holes yes. to get the light through. Okay. Then we go to a, a privacy screen. Um, in this case, as demonstrator, we only show a circle. Uh, if you're under angles, then basically the driver should not be distracted. And for that reason, uh, you need to switch basically the display to black. So this is basically a kind of passenger display. And if you start a movie, the driver should not be distracted. Nice. And as demonstrator here, we put simply a circle. So uh, because otherwise people don't see that it's really special. What's special on this uh, part is that we can switch basically each pixel to privacy mode or to share mode. Nice. You can con completely control which one. Yes. Where it is. Each pixel. Finally, we have a kind of gadget. Um, it's called a Japanese name Kirameki. Kirameki. And uh, it gives a kind of shininess to all metal parts in the display. Wow. And, and it's like a 3D effect. Uh, yes, it is basically a 3D display. Uh, and uh, we make use, if you normally move your head with 3D, you see that the image uh, is always flipping. And we make use of that one, in this case, to have a kind of shininess. Cool, all right. So a lot of things happening yes. in the car, uh, car market. And it's called, you call it the car UX. Yes, a car UX is a car unique experience. And, right. and that's uh, and we are a daughter company of Enelux. Um, and so much happening with the self-driving cars, EVs. Yes. So much demand for new, shiny, beautiful stuff. Yes, correct. And yeah, you see it at the SID booth that many things are happening.